What's up guys, Grim here. I want to tell you guys we have a sponsor to our channel and that is Voodoo Realms, which is a clothing line. If you guys can see my t-shirt without it going out of resolution and stuff, it has very, very cool designs. They have multiple designs to choose from and they are made for gamers. Uh, the designs and stuff will have stuff like video game controllers and stuff that references games overall, as well as cool designs like this one here this is almost like the jack skellington kind of look of the like the pin cushion doll or whatever it is i think that's very very cool the shirts are very comfortable if you guys would like to support the channel and our sponsors make sure to check out voodoo realms i'll have a link in the description below go check it out buy a shirt wear it i want to see it post it on my twitter if you get the chance i would love to see you guys wearing some of this clothing wear because this is supporting gamers overall so very very cool stuff we are going to be playing a little bit different of a game today. Let's uh, switch over to that right now. Uh, yeah, we got it uh, on the wrong screen there. But this is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And I know you guys are kind of wanting some Rift content because this channel is catered around Rift. But it has been very hard for me to get to the PC to play uh, PC games in general. But it's been very, very easy for me to be able to jump on the phone and play mobile games. Uh, such as Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, Legacy of Discord, uh, even bane all these different games that are very cool to play on the mobile devices uh, it's easy for me to do on while I'm working while I'm hanging out with the family anything like that so yeah I've been leveling up on all these type of games and it's been very hard to get on the PC to play any rift hopefully I'll get around to that real soon but we'll see uh, but for right now it's Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes time and uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with this game, it is, of course, a game for your mobile devices, such as your phone or your tablet, and it has a very strategy-oriented gameplay. So, uh, basically, you build up your characters, and it's all Star Wars-themed. You uh, work them up until they get uh, so many stars, which is basically like... Uh, a level unto itself and then you also can work on their overall level you can work on their gear level there's lots of different things to do in this game in order to power up your characters and have them fight certain ways and there's ways to customize them as well to focus on certain stats over others and uh, each of the characters have their own attributes and abilities that make it very uh, fun to play in your own personal uh, direction that you would like to take your team so if you'd like to have like a team that is very tanky or something like that uh, you can build a team like that and you can also get like a tribal synergy uh, if you guys are familiar with a lot of other games like Magic the Gathering and stuff, it usually has the tribal formations, or uh, shouldn't say formations, uh, uh, symmetry or, uh, yeah, synergy, that's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. So synergy to where, like, if you put all Ewoks on a team, they're going to synergize really well to where, uh, like, one Ewok will buff up the other and so forth. Uh, very cool stuff. Uh, you guys should just check out the game in general if you get the chance. Uh, let's see here. Let's do some PvP, which is basically uh, me taking on the computer character, but it's somebody else's team. So we're going to go to the squad arena here. And you can do raids, you can do uh, individual battles, there's events, there's all kinds of fun stuff, but there's also the player versus player combat on here. And uh, like most mobile games, there are limitations to how much you can do something. So we can do five battles a day, but I'm down to my last three right now. Uh, this would be a pretty good team for me to take on, I believe, because uh, it's, it's basically uh, Obi-Wan is like one of the best leaders in the game i think uh but this is a team that i can beat i believe so let's go ahead and click on it and uh, normally whenever i play these mobile games i'm going to be playing it on my phone if you guys can see there and uh 
Yeah, but this game doesn't require me to do that. A lot of the other games that I'll play, like the Legacy of Discords, uh, Evil Bane, and games like that, you have to have like the two thumb action to where one is doing the movement and the other thumb is doing the individual uh, abilities and stuff. And you just can't do that with a mouse clicker. And this is a game that actually we can because it's strategy based rather than action based. All right, so this team that I have here ha has a certain kind of way of working together that I put together. Um, it's not really a top tier team or anything like this. Uh, this team was basically characters that I had early on in the game and uh, I was working them up and then I started learning what better teams are. But by then it was kind of too late. I didn't want to spread myself thin and start working on other characters with these ones being midway worked up. So I figured might as well go all the way with them and then work on other characters afterwards. You know, at least get some maxed out characters. And so these guys are mostly all seven stars and they have a way of working together such as uh, Captain Phasma, which in this number one spot here uh, gives a leadership ability. And this leadership ability basically basically makes it to where um, if if one of my allies attacks it has an ability uh, a chance to call another ally to assist so take for instance my Luminara here which is my healer goes up and hits somebody my red guard may uh, has a small chance granted has a small chance to come up and hit as well and if i can get extra hits from this red guard it's a very good thing because this red guard has a chance of stunning people which will make them lose their turn altogether uh, that individual character that they stun also if i can get extra hits from this guy uh darcidius down here he has an ability to apply a healing debuff to somebody to where if they have a luminara or another healer that casts a heal that character that has the healing debuff will not get healed so if this guy can get extra hits in and actually have more chances to get that healing debuff off it's a very good thing and the geonosian soldier here this guy just hits extremely hard so extra hits from him is a very good thing and even if this uh the extra hit chance doesn't really come into play very much say i get very unlucky Captain Phasma also has ability to uh, speed up my turns uh, and also slow down the enemy's turns, basically. So, you know, it, the more turns I get and the less they get is very good for me. So let's go ahead and go into this battle and show you guys some of the strategy that's behind Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, very cool game. I, I have a blast playing this game. All right, so one, uh, one thing to notice right off the bat is up at the top you will see that I have five minutes to do this. So we're going to be kind of rushing through this individual battle. I'm talking a lot right now and I need to get to fighting. But uh, as you can see, Princess Leia went into hiding so I cannot hit her right now, which is a very bad thing. She's a big DPS person and she buffs up everybody else. But I do not want to kill old Ben because once he dies, he applies buffs to everybody else and I mean big time buffs for a whole turn. So we're going to focus on uh, Darth Vader here because he can really put a hurting on my guys uh, if he is able to he will go ahead and put a dot on all of my guys actually three dots each and that will really really suck because if he does a saber throw I believe it uh, is stronger with how many debuffs uh, he has on the enemy so he could potentially one shot my guys afterwards with that saber throw. All right, this ability here by Captain Phasma is going to speed up my guys and give them an extra turn, basically. We're going to try to stun Vader. Yes, we got the stun off. As you can see, he kind of glows with the phantom image there. That means that he is stunned. That means that we're not going to be hit by all those dots, at least until he gets freed up. Ah, uh, old Ben. Oh, I, oh, I hate you. He applied a, a debuff on our guys over here that makes it to where we can only use our primary ability here for a turn. So, uh, yes, I got the healing debuff. As you can see, the, the cross there has uh, is actually crossed out. That is very, very good because now if his Luminara goes to heal, Vader will not be healed. 
which is great because I'm trying to kill him. Let's do a double hit. Oh, didn't even need it, but went ahead and did it. All right, so let's take out Luminara first, uh, or next, should I say. Uh, Princess Leia just buffed up everybody. Now they have two times the amount of chance to crit me, which is very bad. Uh, let's try to take out Luminar. Let's slow down there, guys, hopefully. Yeah, two of them got the, the, uh, movement speed debuff there. Um, Luminar is already ha already has the healing debuff, so I'm going to hit everybody. Let's try to stun Luminara. I need to start working on Princess Leia while she's out of hiding. I need to heal up. Uh, however, I've got to finish off the one that I was working on. If I do not, then she will possibly heal up everybody else. All right, so Princess Leia is next. Come on, get a stun. Yes, that makes it to where Princess Leia will not go into hiding and make me have to target somebody else. Last person I want to target is old Ben right now. So we've only got two minutes left, and two minutes goes by really, really fast in this. Yes, stun Princess Leia once again. That is going to make it to where I can kill her here with the double hit. Yes, didn't even need the double hit, wasted it on her, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So let's go ahead and finish off this guy here. Uh, stun him. Yes, man, my stuns are going off very, very well. And that's usually a hard thing to accomplish considering my opponent is level 85. Uh, usually level 85s have a lot better stuff than I do. I'm only a level 80 and my guys are actually only level... Uh, oh, I should have hit everybody with that one. Uh, my guys are only level 77 for the most part. So, All right, come on. Yes. All right, old Ben is the last one left, and we're going to go ahead and use auto attack now because this is the cleanup crew here. Old Ben is a goner. I'm putting him down just like Vader did. Uh, yeah, this is pretty sweet win right here. Going up a, against a level 85 uh, enemy, and I pulled it off flawlessly. Very, very cool match. Very happy with it. Moved up. Uh, man quite a bit of ranking right there so I'm up to uh, ranking 530 and you may think wow you're 530 on your server that's not very good but you got to realize that a lot of people are max level and they've been max level for a while so they will straight up beat me down if I ever tried to challenge them uh, we could go to the squad arena and see some of these guys let's see here the rankings You'll see the people at the top of the rankings, yeah, they're they're level 85s with uh, a lot of the premium characters uh, leveled up. Yeah, that guy is, man, I just wish I had Emperor Palpatine. This guy will put a hurting on your team if you do not kill him fast. So, yeah, these guys are really decked out. They've, they've probably spent money on the game. Uh, you don't have to spend money on the game, but it definitely speeds up the process, such as getting uh, some of these characters unlocked that uh, are more difficult to. So, games like this, they, it's not pay to win, but you can definitely pay to uh, speed up the process. So... Uh, that that's kind of how I like it. I like it to where you can actually pay a little bit of money and uh, like a lot of games have it to where you can get a subscription or something like that and your experience will be a little bit more than what it was before. Uh, so your character will level up faster, stuff like that. I like games that can speed up the process a little bit. You don't have to have it to where it's pure cosmetic stuff in order to pay for it. Uh, I don't think games need to go that far. You can actually have it to where you can pay to speed up the process, and I think that's fair as well. So, yeah, really good game. If you guys have not tried it, try it out. Go to the Play Store on Google or the App Store on your uh, Apple device. Download Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. It kind of goes at your own pace. I played a very sped up version of it because I went to the squad arena. But most of the stuff, like if you go to the light side battles here and say you uh, uh, battle some of these guys uh, like this team here, which would be all snow troopers. Uh, yeah, you can go in here and uh, battle these guys without any timer at all. Take your time, pick your strategy, have fun with the game. I highly recommend it. Yeah. All right. So there you go, guys. I know it's not the Rift content some of you were looking for, 
But I hope you enjoyed this content as well. Uh, it's easier for me to put out the mobile games. So uh, we're going to go a little bit in this route and try to put out some Rift content as we can. All right. As usual, guys, my name is Grim. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you next time.